I'm involved with Urban Rugby Club. Uh, and my role, primary role, as youth convener. I'm in charge of all the kids. Uh, Urban, to make sure they get games, coach safely. The coaches are all going through their uh, coaching courses and uh, anything to do with the kids. And Alan, um, for the last year we've been in a partnership with Scottish Rugby and North East Council uh, and yourselves to employ the local development officer here, Michael Cook. Yep. Would you like to tell us a little bit about the impact that you feel as though Michael's having in the local schools and at the rugby club here? Uh, this is Michael's end of his second, ter second year. First year was a wee bit sticky because he was new to the, 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 the job. But we've helped him on and the numbers have actually doubled in the, in the two year that Michael's been on the job and obviously last year we, with the two MAs as well, part of the team, the guys are in every school in Irvine, coaching, uh, bringing on the school of rugby here as well and hopefully next year another school of rugby like at uh, Greenwood Academy. So guys, you, uh, the two local campus crops, which schools are you, that you engage with at the moment? I cover Garnock Academy, which is in Coburn. Yeah, I work with Gavin Blackburn, who's the, the coach up there. And I'm with Thorkin Harvey Academy in Stevenson, and I work with his equivalent down in, in the Three Towns area. Thanks guys, so we've started up a new programme called a referral programme uh, within some of the schools, and obviously we're working with yourselves in the, the local secondary schools there. Can you tell us a little bit about the impact that rug working with rugby's had with some of the individuals that you've been working with, guys? Absolutely. Uh, up at Garnock Academy, Gavin's put in a lot, and there's a lot of work. Uh, not just getting to know the kids, but being part of the school as well. Uh, which I think is quite difficult initially to go into an environment like that for the rugby background. I found it that way as well as a cop. Uh, but it's part of the school, the rugby's going great. Uh, we also sit as part of Gavin's re referral programme. Uh, once a week we'll sit some of the more challenging boys down in a circle. Uh, we'll talk about respect, how you conduct yourself as part of a team within rugby, but also in life and society and community and all that sort of thing. Uh, and they have to do that before they touch a rugby ball. You know, so that's a challenge to get through that. We monitor things like punishment exercises, behaviour in and out of school. I'll watch them down the town, report that back to Gavin, uh, and the pupil welfare officer is involved as well. So it's tying it all together, you know, so it's working really well. Absolutely. Yeah, I would just agree with everything that Jim said there, and it's also coming from a school where I think it was predominantly football orientated before, to see them taking an interest and something that they didn't really take part in before, it's, it's great and some of them are really, you can see that they're really enjoying it and I think some of them will go on to, to do better things in rugby. Well it's great to be here this afternoon at this, this festival, I, I think it, it shows how much rugby and the partnership here in North Ayrshire has developed over the last two years. I, I was just commenting earlier that when I came last year there was about half the number of players than there are today which is a, a tremendous effort in terms of the coaches and the volunteers that have been helping to put on the schools of rugby here in North Ayrshire and let the game grow uh, here throughout the last two years. The good thing about 2014 is we're moving towards the Commonwealth Games in, in July Rugby is one of the key sports and we see that that will be a springboard itself to develop rugby in North Ayrshire over the next two to three years itself. We've got modern apprentices that we want to develop a new programme in partnership with the SRU and the local clubs and we hope that that will help to bring on board a new generation of players and young coaches uh, here in North Ayrshire and at the same time increase employability opportunities for those youngsters in the sense of giving them a real career path in, in, the, in the future, either rugby and sport. The sport itself forms part of our pass, our physical activity and sports strategy for, for the area and again it's playing an important part in engaging local school pupils, both boys and girls, in being physically active and taking positive life choices in, in the work that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. I have to thank the SRU, Scottish Rugby Union and the local clubs for being so enthusiastic in the partnership. It certainly helped the council to come on board and provide the support that we do in our own way. And uh, I look forward to a great day's sport. Thank you.